insightful African prophets and reincarnation. The real matter of contention today millions of uh, black brothers and sisters the weightiest matter in their spirituality is answering what happens to us when we die to the awakened brothers and sisters who have seen through the lies of christianity judaism islam and all so-called eastern religions is the matter of death which causes uh, them to adopt a hindu uh, perspective you see here it's only you and your deeds that's what we think that's what we conceptualize and then we have to query where is your money where is your power where is your arrogance we also know and this we must grasp that the bar is the soul or many other souls then two is the flesh and now we know that the, when we say the soul dies we know that it goes in the grave and what goes in the grave we know that is then two the soul was not only one's characteristic character but a composite a being of different entities, each of which had its own or has its own role to play in the journey of life as well as afterlife. So we have got nine souls which we have given the code Kakati Baab Sahuku Kai Biti Sekem Renu. We have explained this and explored this concept. Our ancestors in ancient Africa and as recorded in Nilotic a belief or taught reincarnation thousands of years before Hindus. Or before Hindu reincarnation, modern proof is in the most detailed in indigenous African exposition on reincarnation. Other than the normal Bantu oral teaching, when especially similarities of a newly born, when they compare them to an ancient or to a recently passed away ancestor, we can find a lot of details in the sacred Yoruba holy book called the Old Ifa. Now we are showing here this is the Old Ifa and also this is the one of the most ancient soul house found in ancient Africa. It's the first and the oldest and this is the Old Ifa reincarnation uh, systems. You can see these are the ancestors all around here and you can see this is the tree and you can see everything is explained. The Old Ifa in, in it the ancestors are very clear that the spirit comes and goes after death reincarnation but they are even more clearer that this reincarnation will happen to everyone regardless of whether you were good or evil. In fact, it will not cease until the good have overpowered the bad and forced them to abide by the rules of goodness or Mahati or Ubuntu or Unu. The wars we are faced with today as a race are wars that we lost in previous lives. Therefore, if we fail to do our best in the now at the point where we are discussing today we are indeed in deep trouble because even if we are to die even if we are to change ourselves even if we are to change our character and become other people other than what we are we will still have to reincarnate in our flesh as we are in the same scenario forget about the issue of time forget about your book religion think deeply about this our ancestors in africa were well versed in psychiatry and they made a prediction about our future and about the cycles of time this is the basis of our lives and all that has happened to our race we give a story here of Ausari, isisu horesu and shata and many others that are surrounded but we want to summarize this set murdered and dismembering of Ausari, who was the ruler of egypt at that time isis with the help of Thoth and anubis mummified and administered several magical healing spells and our uh, protections set as it thrown away the pieces the 14 pieces that he cut off Ausari to various places on the earth throughout the ordeal Isis and her twin sister Nephthys also offered extensive sorrowful cries that's what we do as Africans we cry we mourn and angry please that's exactly African which helped reanimate Ausari when combined so we should cry we should release our emotions because it reanimates the dead let us not be gentlemanly about it when someone we love dies let us mourn them mourn them thoroughly and shed tears for them that is african that is our culture 
So the obvious, uh, we have to identify the characters here. Osiris, Osari, you will not be left behind. Set, shatter, evil. Isis, Isisu, our mother. Horasi, Horesu, sky power, or clouds, or heavenly. Osiris, we now re reinterpreting this and putting it into a proper, correct prophecy to disprove that modern teachers, modern prophets, modern evangelists, modern imams, modern wise gurus, modern uh, modern uh, prognosticators, or anyone who has said they can prophesy about the future. If it is not based on this story, they are lying. Ausari is the primeval king of ancient Egypt in Africa, simply meaning that it's a Kian era or eukaryotic of the earliest time in history or original DNA of Africans, original identity of Africans. All this reinterpretation, we, I got it from my friend, my teacher, my mentor, the teacher and psychologist, East Africa. I give credit, all credit to him. Set represents a race that brings chaos and overturns the thrones of the African humanity. These are the races that have come all over Africa and completely vanquished us and they still continue to do that. Isis is the African female characterization of fertility, meaning only she alone can reproduce human genes or human identity or human DNA. That's obvious. That's a black woman. That's the goddess. The scattered pieces of Ausari means the dissociative identity disorder and scattered fragments of the African men's identity and mentality. Post humans conceive as one. That means that the, while the African men is mentally dissociated, can't identify himself through slavery, colonization, and mentally dead, which is what is the mental dissociation that is dissociated from the true self, the black woman will still conceive a child or children or race with him during these hard times. And Seth is mentally ruling the world at that time with his colonial oppressive enslaving mentality which will put the african minds and their identities in chaos so set or shatter there he is you see him there set represents chaos and the invaders of africa set color is reddish set was represented or is represented by big eared uh, imaginary animal with red hair resembling a donkey or maybe an adag he is lord of lower egypt it means the lowest state or your lower state of being. He is the Lord now. Said was married to Naphtha, was exiled, was in the desert. Desert means deprived of life. No life. Set had no children, right? We know also that there was Heru or Horas or Horesu. Horas is the product of the union of Isis and Ausari. Mentally vulnerable African boy or African race that is raised by the African woman in slavery or under Jim Crow or apartheid or colonialism or religious confusion, which is there today, violently resisting mentally until he takes over the throne. Yes, that's our duty. That's how. That's why we are reincarnating. It is to take over the earthly throne. It is to control again, to reinstate my art. And it seems we are not doing very well, are we? But restoring mental order to the African mind, which is the psychology of order or focus on the African's independence of single existence, right? That, that, that's life. Why did they remove reincarnation from the holy books, especially the Bible? This is very critical. I wish I could emphasize that. Please follow me here. I give credit to Konsunok of Kushat Hermetic Spiritual Science. You can find him on Facebook and many other places. There is also no date coming to save you. So that is a lie uh, from the bed. So we are, we are not going to have a savior here. No savior is going to save us. We've got the Torah, we've got the Maat, we've got the laws, we've got everything right inside us. Odu Ifa is clear that any mankind is responsible for ending reincarnation by making sure that there is no spirit left behind and all have evolved into the era, in other words, good condition. That's our job for those brothers and sisters that are enlightened. You only reincarnate through those who share similar DNA. In other words, you will never reincarnate in any other race other than being black and in the same conditions that we face today. That's the existence of genetic code, bloodlines, 
totemism and everything else that we have given you as the combination lock for the for your life now and a reincarnated a spirit today and tomorrow and in the distant future if we do not do good as a totality of a race the european elites understand african reincarnation perfectly well because they studied it while in uh, the, they were students in ancient africa as Greek students in ancient Africa. This is why they are so committed to not only wealth today, but for generations, generational wealth to come. They told you that you die and go to the clouds or to heaven while they prepare to return to the earth through their grandchildren in wealth and in riches. The Rothschild family is, is swimming in trillions because their father, their founder, I'm sure Bauer Rothschild set this up. This is the teaching here that we must grasp. Why enslavement mentality is taught, especially in the Bible, in the Quran, in the Torah, and many, many other uh, uh, doctrines. Because for us, we have to realize that we will never escape blackness in the next life. And that the only way for us to be strong is to develop a strong race now, today, not tomorrow, but today. So that we can reincarnate in it with its wealth. It will be in a powerful position when you reincarnate and not a subservient race. For the weak-minded, they would rather believe they can escape servitude in the next life than commit to freeing us from servitude today now. So that our next life is free. Your next life conditions will be based on what you did for your race in this life today. So they teach Christian's dogma. That's why they teach Christian dogma for us to continue as endangered slaves and slaves. The world of today is full of anarchy, of warring nations, predatory economics, and captive populations, which is us. The gods and goddesses in ancient Africa began as real people. They weren't just fictional characters. They had powerful insights, which we have highlighted, which we are highlighting today. All the Atumura, uh, Hathor, Isis, uh, Ausari, Horesu, they were powerful. Not all of the gods, however, and goddesses were ancestors. Some of them were nature deities. We live in a natural earth. Therefore, ancestor worship and nature religion is basic. That's basic. You can't run away from that. Therefore, in reincarnation is an aspect and a great ingredient in this. No one seriously believed that the sun god a tumra and in nature, uh, the sun god uh, or sky goddess had human origins. Nevertheless, Ausari, Neftis, Isis, Horasu, and many others were real uh, deities, were really uh, people. All the modern prophets, imams, pastors have lied to us. I, I invite you to analyze this interpretation that we have given today, review this video, and meditate on it again and again. For in it, the prophecies of Ausari, we learn the future. We know that in cycles and our true purpose is to prepare and to be ready for darkness. It is the only true insightful African prophecy. It is the only true insightful African prophecy. And that prophecy is reincarnation. No other prophecy is true except the doctrine of reincarnation in the manner and the basic manner that we have delivered. Thank you so much, Siabonga Tatenda. If this is your time, grab your ancestry, remember reincarnation, and walk with your God again. This is Priest Rabbi L.M. Tumizulu of Committee Hebrew Ethics. Subscribe to our channel and also visit our website, lifespiritofamencam.com. Contact us on this email, leave your comments, and share and spread this message. Goodbye.